Good morning, Alan Combis here, Faster EFT practitioner and creator of uh, these little videos that I call Morning Coffee with Alan. They are really all about sharing with you things that I've learned uh, in my journey of healing, personal healing, and of course working with my clients as a Faster EFT practitioner. And today, what I wanted to talk about, um, I recently had a little two-hour talk that I give uh, once a month, and I'm doing them at the moment with uh, Jonah Robbins, another Faster EFT practitioner. We're here in Los Angeles, California. And we had a talk the other night, and a gal brought up a question. One of the attendees brought up a question. She said, um, so I've been tapping, and I've been working on some of my issues and she said it's working she said I'm tapping it down and then she said but the strange thing is is I'm now feeling guilty for not having that feeling anymore and and she was very sort of perplexed and a little worried about this and I said well very good that's very interesting isn't it uh, what is guilt and and this is something that happens quite often in when, when I work with with my clients. You know, as, as you, you're you're as you're detrancing, as you're pulling out these deep seated uh, beliefs that they've had for for perhaps all their lives. You know, um, they've used these ideas and these memories to build a foundation on as to build a foundation around who they are, around their identities. They've created their identities from these experiences. And that's all we can do. That's what we do. It's whether it's good or bad, that's how we, our personality is shaped. It's how it's formed. What we choose to hold on to literally determines our, our personality and how we react in, in the world. And so what she was experiencing is something that a lot of us experience, and that is you begin to change what's going on up here, and all of a sudden part of you goes, whoa, 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 whoa what's going on here? Uh, who am I going to be without these issues, without these problems? And uh, again, it's very common. And so what she was feeling was, was guilt. She was feeling a lot of guilt. And of course, my answer to her was guilt is just another trigger isn't it? You know, you, if you feel a feeling uh, of guilt, then the best thing you can do is to begin tapping on it. And one of the things I always tell my clients and I always tell my students is start there. You know, just start where you're at. Start with the feeling and notice the feeling just have, you just sit in it for a few seconds. You don't have to analyze it. You don't have to, you know, ask, you know, why, 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 why do I have this problem? Just sit in the feeling. Notice the feeling, and then begin to do a simple round of tapping. And when you notice the feeling and you begin to tap, then you can start doing some detective work if you like. And what I mean by that is, you know, you don't super analyze it. You don't, you don't. Uh, spend too much time uh, psychoanalyzing it, but what you what you do is just say, okay, where did that feeling come from? Because every feeling is spawned from a thought, and so if you can go back and say, okay, what what was I thinking that caused that thought? And it's oftentimes you feel the feeling, you do a round of tapping, you, you, you let it go, and you can't find it. But if you do notice that it's still coming back and you do notice it, tap until you can go back and say, okay, what was the thought that created this feeling? And depending on the neural network of thoughts that create this feeling, uh, whether it's more complicated or less complicated, you, could be, you might be able to knock it down very quickly. And what do I mean by neural network and complicated, you know, one or the other? Um, Sometimes we have a lot of ways of proving to ourselves that we're supposed to feel a certain way. In other words, we have collected a lot of evidence. We've collected a lot of memories that 
support this feeling. And so you might be able to go back and you might have a lot of references of why you should feel guilty. You might have a lot of references of why you should feel depressed or sad or angry, um, whatever it is. And depending on how many references you have, you may have to go back and clean up every one of those. And if that's the case, if you do find like you find you have an emotion that just keeps coming up and no matter what you do, it's just still there, it's still there. I would really recommend going to a practitioner because they have uh, a skilled practitioner will have a way of of eliciting as many of those memories as they can and knocking as many as they can out uh, in the session. So uh, that's that's really the important thing. And even you know sometimes as a practitioner, I'll sit down with somebody and they won't have the memories. They know the feelings there, but they don't know where the memory is and there's there's a gap in those in that memory. And in that case again, you just start where you're at. You just start where you are with the feeling and just begin tapping on the feeling. And again, oftentimes what happens is as you begin tapping down those feelings, as you begin tapping those feelings, think of it this way. Here's the emotion and it's very strong. And as you begin tapping it, as you begin tapping down the emotion, then these other emotions begin to come in that are all supporting the same problem. And the same thing happens with memories. You may begin to get memories now as you begin tapping down these emotions. And then new memories might come in. Uh, I was working with a client just the other day. It was a great example of this. Uh, as we were tapping things down, new memories started just popping and popping in left and right. And ultimately, what we discovered was it it was they were all related they usually always are when that begins happening they were all related and we were able to get to a pretty heavy memory that he didn't even have on his list and we worked on that memory and had an amazing huge shift that uh, was very very poignant to his healing and his ability to move on it was very moving so again what is what is guilt? It's simply another program. It's simply another story you're telling yourself. Who am I going to be without these problems? Well, guess what? You're going to be free. You're going to be able to make new choices. You're going to be able to see the world in a different way. And you're going to be able to enjoy your life. Uh, and always just start where you are. If you don't know what the memory is, if you don't know what the feeling is, if you don't know where it's coming from, just notice how you know. Just notice the feeling and begin tapping. And as always, if things get tough, I highly rec recommend that you see a practitioner. Uh, there's many of us out there and uh, many skilled ones. And of course, always, if you are able, get to a seminar, a tap fest, a healing uh, transformation weekend, uh, anything you can with Robert Smith. And I highly recommend it. All right. This is Alan Combies, Pastor EFT practitioner morning coffee with Alan, or as my friend Linda Walker likes to say, a cup of tea by the sea. All right. Have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.